All right, here we're going to find the area of a triangle formed by a couple of vectors. So vector A has components 2, 0, 1. Vector B has components 2, negative 6, comma, 4. So kind of the basic idea here. Again, so, you know, we've got some vector A. We have some vector B. The idea, again, is we want the area of the triangle formed by those two vectors. Well, to get that, what we're going to do is make a little parallelogram. So uh, here's vector A. Let's stick another vector A over there. There was B. Let's stick another vector B over there. Um, to get the area of the parallelogram, my, my rough-looking little parallelogram, the area of the parallelogram, it turns out, is just going to be the magnitude of A cross B. So that's going to be the area of the entire region. Okay, so, well, if we only want the triangle, that's half of that. So that tells us that the area of the triangle, so the area of the triangle is just going to be the magnitude of A cross B, and then we'll have to divide that by 2. So this is what we're going to have to compute. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is find the cross product, A cross B. So to do A cross B, We've got I, J, K, vector A has components 2, 0, 1, uh, vector B has components 2, negative 6, 4. Alright, so if you imagine covering up the I column, we'll be left with 0, 1, negative 6, and 4. We'll subtract away the J component. Um, so J, if we cover up that column, we're left with 2, 1, 2, 4. So 2, 1, 2, 4. And then we'll add to that our k component. So then we'll be left with 2, 0, 2, negative 6. So let's see. 0 minus 4 is 0. We'll get minus negative 6. So that, that'll leave us with positive 6i. Minus, we'll have 2 times 4, which is 8 minus 2. So that'll leave us with a uh, negative 6j. And then it looks like we have uh, negative 12 uh, minus 0. So let's see, uh, negative 12 minus uh, 0 is just going to leave us with, well, negative 12 times k. So it says the cross product has components 6, comma, negative 6, comma, negative 12. And now uh, we'll just find the magnitude of this. So that says the magnitude of a cross b. Well, that's going to be 6 squared plus negative 6 squared plus negative 12 squared. Well, let's see. Uh, 6 squared is 36. Negative 6 squared is also 36. Negative 12 squared will be 144. Um, so let's see. If we simplify that, uh, 144, I guess, plus 72. That's going to leave us with, let's see. So I guess that'll leave us with the square root of what? How about 216? Well, again, to find the area of the triangle, all we have to do is um, just take this value. Again, this is now the area of the parallelogram. So again, the area of the triangle, like we said, we just take the, the magnitude of the cross product, uh, which is the square root of 216, and then we can divide that simply by 2. So. I guess the question is, does this simplify at all? Let's see. Um, so we can always write 216 as 2 times, I guess, 108. We can always break down 108 a little bit further. So 108, we could write that as 2 times 54 all over 2. Um, 54, we can break down, I guess, a little bit further as well. Let's see. We have 2 times 2, so this is a 4. So I'm going to bring that out as a 2. The square root of 54, we can uh, write that as 27 times 2. Um, I always just break things down in evens. So the 2's we could cancel. Well, the square root of 27 times 2, we could really write that as 9 times 3 times 2. Uh, well, the square root of 9, uh, we can take, we can pull that out. So the 9 will come out as a 3. We're left with 3 times 2, which I'm just going to multiply back together. 
So to me, it looks like the area of our triangle would equal 3 times the square root of 6.